Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a fun looking puzzle in front of us. It's called Tic-Tac-Toe by Maldivia. I don't think I've seen a, a puzzle by Maldivia before, so that's always nice. Uh, let's just jump into the rules of this thing, see if we can figure out what's going on here. So it's normal Sudoku. Got every row, column, and three by three box that has to add, or has to have the digits one through nine once each. We also have our nice little tic-tac-toe. By the way, this person has just overdone it in terms of beating their opponent. I mean, they've got multiple ways they've won. They could have stopped earlier than this. Uh, anyway, we've got German whispers. So Jason did it on a green line. Must have just released five. So all of the X's are our German whispers. So we're going to know that whatever this digit is, this one will be at least five away from it. Then we have crop keys and killer cages. So crop keys first, digits separated by a white dot are consecutive. So these two will be consecutive. Digits separated by a black dot have a ratio of one to two. So these guys here will be in that ratio or one will be double the other. And not all dots are given. So we don't have a negative constraint. Then our killer cages is just digits in a cage do not repeat and must sum to the clue in the top left corner. Uh, looks like they're all 16s. So this guy here will add 16. So will you, and so on and so forth. So those are all the rules. Uh, nothing more, I guess, to say intro-wise. So let's just dive into this one, see if we can get it figured out. Uh, it looks like it should be approachable, but we're going to find out that shortly. So links in the description below. Let's give it a try. Well, first things first, these middle cells are fairly well determined. I guess we'll not... Not determined as in we know what the values are, but we know what the options can be. Because we have to have four different digits that can be five away from it, so they have to be ones and nines. Now, is that enough to start pushing us around here? Because like these guys here now, because they're on a crop key, have to be twos and eights, and so does this one. Oop, go away. Now, what good does that actually do for us is the question. Now, the ones and the nines are creating a bunch of pairs we can think about. The twos and the eights are all offset from each other, so they don't really have that same uh, workload. So, do we have to start thinking about the killer cages and what's going on with them? Nine. Yeah, there's going to be multiple. Well, obviously, each of these corners is going to be different. So, like, these will either both be ones, these will both be nines, or the opposite. <clears throat> so, in our cages, it's going to depend on what that one is, which is going to tell us how these guys work out. So, in instance, if this was a nine, you're looking at this has to be an eight, and these two have to add to eight in some way, where one of them is going to be a low digit. Now, we don't really know which one those, how that works, though, because we're going to have the same, um, we're going to have the situations occurring in each of these boxes. Now, another thing to think about would be either this these two crop keys here or these 16 cages that have crop keys between them or in them I should say because in a basic sense we're gonna there's a little bit of a restriction here because obviously you can't put a one two or a two three in this guy or this guy because you won't be able to get to 16 conversely you can never put a nine a nine eight. Uh, but you could do a 7-8. But, so there's only a little bit of restriction there. Let's start thinking about what could occur in these corners, maybe. So let's think of these in instances, maybe. Because when we have a high digit, these are all going to be the low digits. Oh, I think I just saw something here for both instances if this is high these are all low what can this be what well, has to be able to be consecutive with a low digit without being a low digit so it would mean this would have to be a five what happens if this is a one these are six sevens eights and nines 
it, this has to be consecutive with a high digit without being a high digit. This is just a five. And the same thing is going to occur here. Okay. Now that forces these guys to be either fours or sixes. And then what? Let's think about what these could be, maybe. Because they're the same thing up here. It's either going to be 5 with a 2, which is 7, so this would be a 9. Or it's a 5 with an 8, which is 13. Oh, sorry. 13, yeah, right? With the 3. Okay. How does that help us? This will be the same thing. 3, 9. Now, they're not seeing each other, and we don't have the same constraints on these guys. Now, with the 5 being here and here, does that start to further reduce our options on 16? Because so again, we said it can't be 1, 2, or 2, 3. We could have a 3, 4. Would that be accurate? Let's think about that actually before we move on to all of the options, because this will impact this. If this is a 3, 4, that forces this to be a 6 and a 9. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't any uh, connection between those that we could do. Now, 3, 4 will work. Uh, I guess we can just start putting these in because we're going to have some reductions here. So that would be obviously a 7, so this would be a... Oh, wait. Good thing I kept going with it. If this is a 3, 4, that's 7. Well, this would have to be a 9. But we just said if this is 3, 4, this is a 6, which means this is also a 9. So 3, 4 doesn't work. Okay. Now, obviously, 4, 5, and 5, 6 don't work. So we're left with 6, 7, or 7, 8. One of them is a 7. Now, what are the options on those? Let's see if we cause any further problems. Because if we have a 6, 7, that's 13, this will be a 3. 6, 7, yeah, that doesn't work. Because again, the same problem we had with the other version. If this is 6, 7, this is a 4, and this has to be a 3. So that doesn't work. So this is 7, 8. If it's 7, 8, this is 1. The exact same thing is going to happen over here. This is 7, 8. This is 1. All right, now the 7, 8 says what these guys are. Okay, good. So we're into these now. 1, 9, 1, 9. Uh, we said 7, 8 pushes 2, 8. This is 8. Uh, we said the 3 goes down on these guys, and uh, this has to be 4 and 4. Okay, good. Now, these guys here are going to be a 1, 2 pair. So will these. These will all be high digits. Let's just plop all that in there. Six sevens, eights, and nines. These are not sevens or eights. Same is going to be true over here. So let's put those in. Seven, eight. Boom, boom. And now let's start thinking about how we can work on these guys. So if this was a nine, just making sure there wasn't anything really odd. Oh, there's more obvious stuff. Let's just do the obvious first. Hold on. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. I think that, yeah, okay, that's what we got to now. Okay, let's now think about this. If this is the nine, we're looking at 11. So this would have to be a five. If we're looking at the six, that's an eight. And this would have to be another eight, which it can't be. So this is nine. 5, 6, the same thing's going to occur here, 9, 5, 6. All right, now, let's just go into the last of this little bits of stuff that we have. This 8 says this is a 9. Uh, that's 1 or 2. Don't know if we can do those yet, so let's do these first. 
Uh, so these are what, three and four? We can just do that. Three, four. These are a three and a four, so that's the three, that's the four. What are these two? Six and seven. This is the six, this is the seven. Good. What are you guys? Six and seven as well. So this is the six and this is the seven. Now let's see if we can work on some of these other crop keys. This is either two or four. It could be either. Uh, where do we have some other ones we can work on? This is either one, two, or three, and it can't be three. So this is just a one, two pair. This is going to be the same thing. What are these two then? Five and nine, it looks like. If I can type, these are going to be the same. And we have a five, nine, so we can put this guy in here. That's a one. Okay, these now are going to be six, seven, eight, nine, and we can make reductions. This can't, well, this has a nine on it, and it, and it has one of the other two. I don't know which one it is just yet. Do we have anything else that that says, or, or do we have to jump into something else to get crossing? Because again, these are going to be lows, twos, threes, fours, and a five. I guess that means one of these two is a five. And I can put it in. It's not a huge bit of info. Is it? Yes, it is. This is a five. Because the nine's down here, we know that none of those can be fives. So that pushes this to be the five. Okay. All right. What else can we do now? Can we get into these guys or we start putting stuff in? What are you? Let's think about it. Because this will probably set some of this other stuff off. So it can't be one, two. Can't be two, four. Could be four, eight, or three, six. Yeah, that seems like it, it is accurate. Um... Okay, maybe we just need to put some of this stuff in and see how the crop keys start to break this thing apart. So these are just from 3, 7, and 8, and these are from 1, 2, 4, 6. Yeah, this can't be 1, and this can't be 8. Okay, did that actually tell us anything? I don't think it did. Okay, what is this digit? Let's go back to obviousness. This is a three. Let's put try to work some of these guys out. What are these guys? We need two, four, and six. Nothing at the moment. What about you guys? It's still two, four, or six. What are you two? Um, three and nine. Okay, we can do that. Let's do that first. Nine and three. At some point, we're going to get these guys crossing over and giving us something. Um, do we have to go up into here? Let's think about it, I guess. What do we have? 3, 7, and 8. What I'm trying to find is a trip or something that's going to get us moving. What are you guys? 1, 2... Four and six. Again, this can't be a one. This can't be an eight. This can't be a, oh, there it is. This can't be an eight. So this becomes the eight. That removes the eight from here. So this is the eight. Now this is our four. Good. We're starting to crack this nut a little bit. Uh, that four says you're not a four. Get anything out? These are not eights, which means one of these two is. Mm. All right, what else? We have to be able to get more out of this, right? We don't know if this is the one or not because we could still. Oh, wait, do it. there's a one right here, you dummy. <laughs> that's not a one. This is the one. So that's one, two, one. This is not a one. So this is one, two, and one. Good. All right, so now what? Let's start um, seeing how else we can get it. We might have to get into this middle section to determine what's what. Five, nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, five, six, sevens. No, I'm going to have to put these guys in and see if we can find something. Yeah, the three, actually. This is a three. That's all we needed. Seven, three. Uh, that forces seven and three, which forces a two and a six and a four. That's going to give us the two and the six down here. Good. Now, this is a given digit of what? Two? I think so. Yep. Therefore, we can put the four and the six. Get rid of these guys. These guys here have to just be six and two. Mm, okay. Thought we might have something looking across there, but it doesn't look like we do at the moment. Or we do actually six, seven, eight. This is the two and the six and the four and the two. All right. Now these can't be sixes. And I guess we didn't get anything more there. What are these guys? Four and five. Yeah, we, I figured we'd have to be able to get that done. That's the five. That's the four. That's going to set these guys all off. Good. Now this has to be our seven, which means our eight and our sevens are now done. That's going to force this to be our six, this to be the eight, this to be the nine. And there we go. Cool. You solved the puzzle. The solution is correct. That really came together quite well. Once we figured out how these guys organized on this side, everything just kind of collapsed inward, which was really fun. really enjoyed that puzzle. Um, I just like how all the stuff worked together. It was... It wasn't anything like you had to go crazy to think about the math to figure out, oh, how can this work to get into this? You just had to think about your options and then how it would affect these. So good, cool. Really fun puzzle. I really enjoyed that one. Glad we got to see this one. Uh, hope you all enjoyed it as well. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.